Hello. This is Gregor. Welcome to the stream. And tonight, if the uh, if the fates decided it to be, I will be streaming Persona Five. Assuming I don't get any more capture card errors, any more volume errors, or any more um, drop frames, apparently. The fuck? Why the hell am I getting dropped frames? <sighs> so anyway, I'm also doing a sound test, one, two, three sound. Um, is the volume okay compared compared to my voice? So, um, thanks for that. I am clearly legible, um, audible over the game, right? I've been listening to this theme for the last, like, two hours and even though I love it um, I'm at the point that I'm sick of it at the moment because of all the bullshit that's been going on with the capture card anyway oh my voice really okay there we go so, um, hopefully this is going to be okay. We'll be doing Persona 5. I'm starting a new game on a new profile, which I very optimistically uh, created just for streaming. Uh, I story is a work of seem to be missing frames here and there. Um, is the stream going smoothly? Similarities between characters or events to persons living or dead in your world are purely coincidental. Yes, because you need to be told that there are no actual demons in your world. Only those who have agreed to the above have the privilege of partaking in this game. Ooh. Uh, uh, okay. How about now? Is this okay? I agree. The contract has been sealed. Yep. The world is not as it should be. It's filled with distortion, and ruin can no longer be avoided. Those who oppose fate and desire change. From time to time, they were referred to as tricksters. You are the trickster. Now is the time to rise against the abyss of distortion. So, um, one thing I'm going to be mentioning a lot is how much I love the music in this game. All of it. Because it's fucking groovy, man. <laughs> Here, 
That's us, by the way. <laughs> Good. Now get running. This is our only chance. Stay calm. You can get away now. We'll retrieve the briefcase on our end. What was that? Don't worry about us. Just concentrate. Showing yourself above that crowd earlier was an excellent move. Nice work as always, Joker. <laughs> I bet Skull wouldn't pull it off that simply. Sacrificial Parky Bird. Okay. Let's see. Um, fuck it, why not? Go down. This hurts. Useless. You should be able to get out that way. Hurry! Come on, man. I'm okay. The intruder simply can't be found. Okay. <laughs> Come on, seriously? Uh, I'm going to be disabling these messages in a bit. Them. Really? There's like a hundred dudes standing there. Mm. Yeah, I'm seeing a, uh, a bit of um, frame dropping as well, and I'm not sure why. Uh, 
Suspect secure. Hmm. Didn't expect to find some kid. You have your teammate to thank for this. You were sold out. Okay, let's see if this uh, fixes it a bit. Suspect confirmed. Cuff it. Hmm. Still getting dropped frames. Uh... Guess the drug was too strong. Hey, yeah, Dan. Uh, how's it going? Actually, I've been having issues with the capture card all night. I was supposed to be streaming like three hours ago, but. Yeah, the the game isn't the game. the The card isn't doing many favors at the moment, so yeah. Okay, let's see. How's this? Come on, cooperate. What? You want another shot? Nope. What about the camera? Are you thinking it can be used as video evidence? Still getting dropped frames. Of course not. So you're not that dumb. Which is good. Because we get to take as much time as we need. <coughs> Obstruction of justice, blackmail, defamation, possession of weapons. Manslaughter too, yeah? Talk about the works. Thing that all those crimes were led by a punk like this. And you seem to be enjoying every second of it. Huh? I was enjoying it? Well, of course I was. <laughs> Everything's hazy. I can't remember. Gee, it might be all the drugs. Maybe do it on safe. <laughs> um, so, okay, here's the thing. Hmm... I will probably be playing it on easy because uh, amongst other things it also cuts down on grinding and honestly this is exactly what I don't want to grind a lot on stream or off stream because I've already played this game for like 40 hours or so so hmm How about we try another way? So let's see. Let's leave this for the audience to decide. I'm just going to leave it for like a couple of minutes. Um, since there doesn't seem to be many people uh, watching at the moment. Mm. Let's say for three minutes.
I like how dramatic the music is for like um, for the difficulty select screen. Yeah, I know. Um, it wouldn't be me if I didn't do a couple of puns. So I see we still get a, a bit of frame skip too. Um, I'm not actually sure what the deal is now because um, maybe I need to refresh the stream. Uh, unfortunately, XSplit doesn't really have a, um, a troubleshooting tool to tell you why it's dropping frames. So, hmm. I honestly kind of hope it's not a, that big of an issue because um, I'm pretty sure it's a fuck up with uh, other media and their piece of shit budget uh, capture card or something. <sighs> yeah, I'm um, currently not a big fan of this uh, capture card to be honest. Okay then, so let's see. Three votes, all for easy. Okay, easy is it then? Easy does it? I don't know, I think I missed a pun there. <laughs> you should know your place. Sign here. It's a confession under your name. I see. Punch. I need your hand to sign this, but <laughs> I don't care if you end up losing a leg. Don't expect to walk out of here in one piece. We are going to make you understand. One must take full responsibility for their actions. So you say. Okay, so the name select screen is coming up. Anyone got any suggestions? I could always do the, um, I don't know, uh, I guess the, the name I used on the last playthrough maybe, I could just be A, ah. <laughs> doesn't really matter to be honest, but um, I saw an, um, Um, there was this recommendation thread that, um, hmm, I used to pick, um, a Japanese sounding name, I guess. Eh. Don't ask me to pronounce it though. It's not like it often comes in up in the game. Excuse me, but this area is all I'm Nijima from the public prosecutor's office. The prosecutor's office? What business do you have here? Take a guess. <laughs> Just let me through. It's urgent. There's something I need to confirm with the suspect. 
Nijima-san, I believe this case is no longer in your jurisdiction. Ah, we don't Sons, care about no jurisdiction. <laughs> There's a call from your director. Hurry and get it over with. To be frank, you're being an inconvenience. Yeah, we got people to beat. Uh, I thought I ordered you to stand by. I'm responsible for this case, yet I'm not even being allowed an interrogation. I'm calling because I knew you'd bring it up. What a surprise. I will not be convinced unless I confirm it for myself. This is my case. Uh, good luck to you then. I won't be expecting much though. Uh, prosecutor, I forgot to mention something important. Your time will be cut short. We can't permit you to talk with him for long. <sighs> it's for your own sake. His methods are unknown. After all, we don't even know if it's safe to simply meet and speak with him. I understand. Hi. I didn't expect to be you. You'll be answering my questions this time. What, no beat things? Aww. <laughs> Can you hear me? It seems you've been through a lot. Almost anything can happen here. And I can't stop them. So, okay, she says those That's bastards and then she threatens us as well. I don't have much time. What was your objective? Awesome. Why did you cause such a major incident? I didn't think it was a prank from the get-go, but I couldn't assemble a case for prosecution. Okay, if you say so. It's because I couldn't figure out the method behind it. So we could be like a helpful, a helpful, uh, good little boy, or I could just be a jerk. So yeah, no choice. <laughs> <laughs> True. There's no way I could be convinced of such a world just by reading the reports. It seems you're coherent. When and where did you find out mm. about that world? How is it even possible to steal another's heart? Now, tell me your account of everything. Start from the very beginning. Okay. I don't seem to have a flashback effect set up on next split, but <laughs> just imagine a swirly thing. You are held captive. Yep. A prisoner of fate to a future that has been sealed in advance. This is truly an unjust game. Your chances of winning are almost none. Oh, come on, you don't have to be but that way. If my voice is reaching you, there may yet be a possibility open to you. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> I beg you, please overcome this game. Please overcome this game. Stop playing it. Okay, click, click. <laughs> So, okay, fun little fact, um, the music we are hearing now is for the Velvet Room, Is uh, that's where we go to do all the, um, all the fancy fusion stuff with our summons, and it's, I think, the only piece of music that's, um, like, constant to every single Persona game, which is kind of nice because it's a nice theme, I guess, <laughs> right. Thank you for riding us today. This is the last stop for this line. Please transfer here for all subway lines. I I'm actually sure I turned on subtitles for the cutscenes, but for some reason it's not showing it. Also, now we're looking at the flashback inside the flashback, so that's something. Damn 
brat! I'll sue! What? Are you for real? A mental shutdown? It's the truth! To a person, though? <laughs> That's gotta be a joke! Exposition! <laughs> So, and this one's also a... the first Persona game that's set in a probably sort of close to real-world location. I, I like how he's not freaking out at all. I would probably be peeing my pants if something like that happened. <laughs> Saturday, 9th of April, um, 20XX. It is, I, I thought Kathleen was streaming once, said, partially in the Kihabara district. Yeah, um, the game's uh, supposed to be set in uh, real world Tokyo, although I remember reading that some, some of the um, locations have been renamed or something, although I'm not sure why. Tutorial system, hints. If you are confused about what to do, where to go next, look to the upper right corner of the screen to view various hints. Get to your new lodging. Okay. So... Oh yeah, um, they do have, I think, if not actual Akihabara, they have a region that's like um, an in-game area that's based on it. Uh, starting today, Sojiro Sakura will be taking care of me. His house should be in the back streets of this residential area. All sorts of people live in the city. There's gonna be a lot of tutorials at the start. <laughs> Try listening to the conversations or press the X button to talk to them. You might learn something new. Hi. Yes. I want to ask for directions. Mm hmm. You want to get to the residence at that address? It's in an alley a bit further back. Take a ride right after that apartment with the stairs. After that apartment with the stairs, okay, this uh, this confused me the first time I I played this uh, area, mm -hmm. but um, thankfully I know how the start goes now. The nameplate here says Sakura. It looks like this might be Sojiro Sakura's house, but of course he's not answering. Even after ringing the doorbell, it doesn't look like anyone would answer the door. Maybe he's gone out. Or maybe he's like at work or something. F fucking deadbeats. <laughs> oh yeah. Exposition always happens at this time. Thank you, exposition delivery man. Well, LeBlanc's in the back alley, so I should make my other deliveries first. So, okay, um, as I mentioned, uh, I know sort of where I'm going at this moment. This place looks like it's LeBlanc. I'll go inside. Take your time.
the public transit bus was driven down an opposing lane with its customers still in it. The citizens can't live in peace if this keeps up. Oh, oh how frightening. What could be going on? Didn't something similar happen just the other day? Hmm. Vertical is the name of a shellfish used for farming pearl. Oh, right. They did say that was today. We'll be going now. The payment's on the table. Thanks for coming. Uh, this place is in the back alley, so there's no worries of a car crashing in here. That sounds like a good reason to go to a cafe. A what now? <laughs> there's been a string of those rampage accidents, you know. I just hope that none happen around here. Well, None of my the protagonist is living here now, so I'm sure everything's gonna be fine. <laughs> we'll see you next time. Oh, four hours for just a single cup of joe. So, you're the guy. You're the guy. Maybe I should have put the guy as my name. I'm Sojiro Sakura. You'll be in my custody over the next year. I don't like his smile. I was wondering what kind of unruly kid would show up. But you're the one, huh? Uh, probably not. Probably not. Have you been told? A customer of mine and your parents know each other. And, well, not that that matters. Follow me. I don't like you very much. So you're gonna be staying in here. It's your room. <laughs> Amazing. At least give you sheets for your bed. Yeah, I'm not totally heartless, you know. Hmm? You look like you want to say something. Fuck it, let's just be sarcastic to everyone. It's on you to clean up the rest. I'll be leaving after I lock up each day. You'll be alone at night, but don't do anything stupid. I'll throw you out if you cause any trouble. Fuck you, man. What the hell? Now then. I got the gist of your situation. You protected some woman from a man forcing himself on her. He got injured, then sued you, right? Okay, so how does he know that? That's what you get for sticking your nose in a matter between two adults. You did injure him, yeah? And now that you've got a criminal record, you were expelled from your high school. Exposition! The court ordered you to transfer and move out here. Which your parents also approved. So, okay, how the hell can a court order someone to move from where they're living? Is that like a Japanese only thing? Because it didn't make sense to me when I played the game the first time anyway. In other words, they got rid of you for being a pain in the ass. You don't have to be so smug about it, dude. Fuck. It's best you not talk about anything unnecessary. I am in the restaurant business, you know. Uh huh. Behave yourself for the year. If nothing happens, your probation will be lifted. Yeah, I don't know though if they have the authority to do that. Especially if they're sending him away from his parents. Cause any problems and you'll be sent straight to Juvie. We'll be going to Shujin tomorrow. That's the school. Shujin Academy, the school you'll be attending. You don't have to be a dick about it. Come we'll on. Introduce ourselves properly to the staff there. Mm -hmm. There's rarely a place to accept someone like you, you know? What a waste of my Sunday. Mine too. Your luggage arrived earlier. I left them over there. Yeah, I know. Um, I'm sure the game kind of at least tries to explain it, but I... I haven't reached that point in my main playthrough yet, so uh, I don't know. I'll be living here starting today. I should check out what's in here. It's full of clothes and daily necessities. Uh huh. Amazing.
It's a table covered in dust. Let's start cleaning. It looks like we're still miss skipping frames or something. Sorry about that. <sighs> it's late. Seems I've like blah. it seems like I've been cleaning for a while. Seriously. What the heck? I heard you making all sorts of noise, but blah blah blah. Come on, seriously? I mean, all that dust. I mean, there's still cobwebs up on the ceiling. Damn, this guy's an asshole. Though it's only natural you'd want to keep your room tidy. Why don't you go to bed for tonight? You don't have anything better to be doing, right? Yep. I'm going to close up shop and get off here myself. I'm gonna head back then. Yeah, sure. Sleeping in your bed will move you forward one day. How to advance time. Going to bed is a special action that will advance time. Time is limited. Think carefully about your schedule before you act. Yeah, uh, so... I don't know if you've played any of the Persona games ever. Um, from, I guess, 3 onwards, there was this... Um, well... There's this uh, feature they've put in the game where um, you basically have like uh, an in-game calendar and it's sort of like, I don't know, um, a visual novel, I guess? Because uh, you can only do specific things on specific times and so on and so forth. Oh, really? Well, that's a shame. They're pretty good RPGs, I guess. Uh, if you're into that sort of thing. Still, I couldn't just let that go. Yep. So, the idea is that... Um, <sighs> that day, I had to go home early. So, now we are once again playing a flashback within a flashback. Hmm? I can hear a man and a woman arguing in the distance. I think they're just up ahead. So I'm gonna go back. <laughs> Not that it will let me. My house isn't this way, I should hurry home. But still get into a fight somehow. It looks like the drunk man is bothering that woman. She's in danger. So I like that both options are basically the same thing. What a waste of time. You think you're worth causing me trouble? Huh? I'll, I'll call the police. <laughs> call them if you want. The police are my bitches. They're not gonna take you seriously. No! Stop! Someone called the cops, huh? Get in the car! Incompetent fools like you just need to shut your mouths and follow where I steer this country. What are you looking at? Get out of my face! This ain't a show. Get lost, kid. See? This is all because you're so damn slow. Get in the car! What? 
So, okay, let's have a look at these guys' apps. There's like um, two different kinds of calculators. Uh, something with a clock, a Google ripoff, uh, one, two, three chat apps, something that's supposed to be, I don't know, train search. I guess that's a thing. Something with a rabbit on it and GPS. Okay. And apparently his phone can also play CDs for some reason. <laughs> Fair enough. The icon looks almost like an eye. It's so creepy. My eyelids are starting to get heavy. Amazing. So yeah, um, the deal is that you get a specific schedule each day and you need to <laughs> like plan around um, meeting other people and um, doing activities and doing all the RPG dungeon exploring stuff on the same schedule. So yeah. Top second from left. Oh, yeah, it kind of does, doesn't it? Also, we're in prison now. <laughs> or not. Honestly, I just love how our protagonist doesn't even bat an eye on all this weirdness. Trickster, welcome to my velvet room. Clench, clench. <laughs> is currently fast asleep. You are only experiencing this as a dream. You're in the presence of our master. Stand up straight! Welcome. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. If you say so. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. It is a room that only those who are bound by a contract may enter. I am Igor, the master of this place. Remember it well. I summoned you to speak of important matters. It involves your life as well. Fuck it, why not? Still, this is a surprise. The state of this room reflects the state of your own heart. To think a prison would appear as such. You truly are a prisoner of fate. In the near future, there is no mistake that ruin awaits you. Spoilers. I speak of the end to everything. However, there is a means to oppose such a fate. You must be rehabilitated, rehabilitated toward freedom. That is your only means to avoid ruin. Well, if you Do say you so. Have the resolve to challenge the distortion of the world. The what? You didn't decline. Hmm. <laughs> Very well. That is enough. So, okay, basically what he says, um, okay, you didn't say no, not take back this. Ah, pardon me for not introducing the others. To your right is Caroline. To your left, Justi. They serve as wardens here. Ha! Try and struggle as hard as you like. The duty of wardens is to protect inmates. We are also your collaborators. That is, if you remain obedient. I shall Ooh. explain the roles of these two at another occasion. Now then, it seems the night is waning. It is almost time. Take your time to slowly come to understand this place. We will surely meet again, eventually. Time's up! Now hurry up and go back to sleep. What, with all these rackets? 
Hello! Hiya, pipe! I got it running. With like two hours um, of setting up this piece of shit. Ah. Yeah, yeah, it's very um, safe for work, I guess. Maybe if you exclude a couple of the more weird personas. I had a strange dream. Ruin. Rehabilitation. What does it mean? Hey. Yeah, um, I know I'm dropping frames, but uh, I don't know how to fix it. Maybe when... Um, hmm. Looks like you're up. Uh, maybe when we get to like um, an hour's worth of stream, I'll try restarting it. See if that fixes it. Okay, let's go introduce process properly to the staff about your transfer. The school you're attending is in the Aoyama district. It will cost you a bit to ride the train there and the route transfers are a pain. I'll drive you there, but just for today. Let's go. Blah, blah, blah. Um, my bitrate's already down to 2,000 something. I think, yeah, 2,000 kilobytes per second. Or whatever the domination is. Um, I'm pretty sure it's a thing from the capture card for some reason, and I don't know why. Uh, hmm. I don't care what happens to you. Yeah, yeah. Just don't cause me any trouble. Fuck you. <laughs> to reiterate, just so we're clear, you will immediately be expelled if you cause any problems. Honestly, I hesitated on accepting someone like you, but there were some circumstances on our side. You might have done a variety of things in hiding in your hometown. But you will behave yourself here. If you are thrown out from our school, there will be no place for you to go. Keep that in mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. This is the teacher in charge of your class. I'm Sadayo Kawakami. Here's your student ID. Also, I don't like you. <laughs> Be sure to read the school rules. Any violations will send you straight to the guidance office. And if by chance you cause any problems, I won't be able to protect you at all. Mm, that's what you say, that but... That is your promise, yes, Principal Kobayakawa? Mm-hmm. He is responsible for all his actions. You don't say. But really, though, why me? There should have been better candidates. Doop. It was a sudden transfer, and your class was the only one that had an opening. If you're done explaining things, mind if we get going? I got a store to get back to. Sakura-san, please keep a close eye on him. Yeah, I know. I I noticed that the first time as well. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, Don't let him cause any. It's well, it's a good voice actor anyway. So. About the uh, he's in. I was actually trying to work here, uh, confidant. Uh, on my main Come save. To the faculty office when you arrive at school tomorrow. I'll show you I'll to show your you classroom. To your classroom. Also, I don't like you at all. For now. <laughs> no, um, it's still on my backlog pile. Turns out your past follows you wherever you go. Sucks to be you. If you get expelled now, I won't hesitate to kick you out. Got it? Jerk. I'll be careful. Mm. Hey. What a troublesome situation. I can't believe they pushed someone with a record on me. A male teacher would be better suited for this. Why in the world was someone like that admitted here? Who knows? It was the principal's decision. I was told that it's for the school's reputation. I would have thought that my volleyball team has contributed more than enough to cover that. That's certainly true. I like how this guy cer uh, certainly like screams asshole from the first moment you meet it. 
then again, if anything were to happen, I'd kick out a student like that right away. Well, I keep wishing that he'd just end up not coming to school. Still, that isn't something I should be saying as a teacher. Yeah, probably not. Well, I should be returning to practice. Oh, right. The tournament's coming up, isn't it? <laughs> Having such high expectations placed on you by others is quite a problem in itself. Well, at well, least modesty isn't a problem here. Track team too. Yes, that's true. It'd have to be my class. Mm. Oh, traffic's not moving at all. You're taking the train starting tomorrow. So, how was it? The school, I mean. Think you can manage? <laughs> Let's be a good schoolboy for now. You even understand your situation. Yep. Still, you were expelled once already. <laughs> to think you'd re-enroll at a different one. It's not like anyone will be sympathetic with you. Okay, I don't need sympathy. Come on, I've got personas. <laughs> That's what it was like at school. People might say stuff about me in the future too. What a troublesome kid I'm taking. In. I was asked to do it, and I just happened to agree to it. Uh, I've already been paid for it too, after all. Wow. Okay. A subway has derailed at Shibuya Station, greatly affecting the timetable all across the... Oh, another accident. So that's why it's so crowded. There's been a lot of those lately. Less of an operating accident and more of a crime of the company and the government. Site inspectors apparently reported all of this six months ago. The deterioration of the tracks and the ATC. Seems a railway company and the Ministry of Transport both turned a blind eye to the truth. There's no way they can hide. This will go all the way to the top. Now on to our main story. With this derailment accident, as well as other recent incidents of unknown motive, well, yeah, but um, this is more for like um, story reasons, I guess. Everything's linked. That's what you're thinking, correct? You can read my mind. Hmm. What? Are you free? You and I haven't gone for a drink in a while. Thank you, sir. But I have another meeting to attend. Plus, I don't like you very much. I must be hmm. going. <laughs> uh. Okay, so that's kind of cool. You've been to uh, Japan then. I don't think I've actually ever gone much further than where I live, so that's kind of cool. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Did you ask for me? Is it a case? Not quite. I want your opinion on something. Sure. Your judgment is quite often correct, though. Can we discuss this over sushi, perhaps? You are making a student work late, after all. Conveyor belt only. Aww. Ooh. Jeez. I wasn't able to open the cafe today. Well, 
Whatever. Fine. Just head upstairs. There's something I need to give to you. Yeah, it sounds like a fun place to be. Hell, even the states sound mo like more fun than around here. <laughs> Talk about a gruesome accident. 80 people were involved. It's a diary. Make sure you write it. Wait, what? You may be under probation. There's no special limitations on what you do in particular. Which makes no sense. Besides following the law, that is. Uh-huh. However, I'm obligated to report on you. Which is why I'm having you record your daily activities. Well, I hate to break it to you, but like 10 days into my stay here. It's gonna make an awful read. Hey, what's up? I'm about to leave right now. Don't worry. I'll be there in no time. Uh huh? I'll see you soon. Doopy doop. Well, I'm off. I'll lock the place up. So do whatever you want for the rest of the night. Do you mean whatever you want? I'm gonna be locked in. Oh, but don't mess up my store. If something goes missing, I'll hand you right over to the cops. You got school tomorrow. You better head off to bed, all right? Yeah, thanks. Sure. I should do as I'm told for now. I should write down what happened today in my diary. Saving! You can save your game by pressing the options button. When you see that button command on the lower left, you can save at any time. Yep. Let's do it. Savey, savey. And sleepy, sleepy. That ringing sound isn't coming from my cell phone. Fuck it. Let's go answer someone else's phone. Why not? Yo, it's me. Okay. I closed up shop, but I forgot to flip the sign to closed. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, got it. So, okay, I thought the guy locked. So, how are we able to get out and flip the sign? Also, I'm, I'm also wondering if this is a Japanese thing, but how come the sign is on the outside of the shop? Uh, around here, it's usually on the, on the inside. You know, accounting for the glass doors and all. Oh, well. I should write something. Let's not think about it too much. Okay, so... I'm just going to do a really, really, really uh, short break. Try and restart the stream. Let's do it. And see if I can fix... Wow, that's a lot of dropped frames there. Mm. Okay. <laughs>